So here is how you're going to avoid having over process here or under process here. First, you want to identify the different curl patterns on your head, whether it is loose or it is tight. Welcome or welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how to avoid over processing or under processing your hair on your relaxer application day. The first thing to consider to avoid over processing or under processing your hair is to find the area that is most resistant. And what do I mean by most resistant? It has to do with your porosity. How fast will that section of hair absorb the relaxer the most resistant area can be found on any section of your head it could be at the nape area it could be at the crown section it could be at the side so it can be found anywhere so typically we would recommend that you section your hair in four for control but in this instance because you might possibly have more than one different textured hair on your head so if it is that you have multiple different hair texture on your head, you are going to go into a problem if you decide to section your hair just in four. Why am I saying that? If you section your hair in four, where is your most resistant area? Possibly it could be at the back, possibly it's at the side, possibly it's in a crown section. And so what will happen is that that crown section, you would have parted that section into two. And so you would have separated that resistance section into two parts. Now what is going to happen is that once you apply the relaxer to the first section of the most resistant area, that section is going to already start to process. And then when you get to the second section where the other half of the most resistant area is, you're going to find that one section is going to process properly. Why? Because that is where you put the relaxer first. And then the next section where you put the relaxer last, possibly you could run the risk of under processing on that particular section. So here is how you're going to avoid having over process here or under process here. First, you want to identify the different curl patterns on your head, whether it is loose or it is tight. Then the next thing you want to do is to find out what porosity you have on the different section of your head. Once you have identified those, then you're going to divide the ear accordingly. Now, if you don't know how to do a porosity test, I have a video that I did recently, so I'll leave that in the description link below so that you can not only learn how to do porosity tests, but also to test for elasticity and to understand what it means when we talk about hair texture. So you can check the description link, click on that video so that you can learn more about your hair and what is best for your hair. Now that you have identified the most resistant area, you are going to section that particular area out. So for example, if the crown section is where your most resistant area is, you're going to section that area out by itself. If at the nape area, like right at the back here, is where you have the most resistant area, you are going to take that section out. So you might be wondering why are you taking out that section and separating it from the rest of the hair? No. The reason why you're going to take out the most resistant areas is because that is where you're going to be applying the relaxer first. Now, why are you applying the relaxer to this particular section first? Keep in mind, if this area is the most resistant area, it means that it is going to take a longer period of time to process, meaning that the cuticles are going to take a longer time to open so that the solution can enter the cortex and do its job and get your hair straight. Remember that once the relaxer goes onto your hair shaft, its job is to swell and force the cuticles to open and there is where the processing starts. Now, wherever you put the relaxer first, that section is going to start to process. And by the time you reach to another section, that ear has already, as mentioned earlier, has started to process. And that's the reason why you want to apply the relaxer to the most resistant areas first, and then you'll apply the relaxer to the least resistant areas last. And in that way, you will avoid over processing your hair or under processing your hair. Why can I say that? If you put the relaxer at the least resistant areas, that section of the hair is going to process first. 
by the time you get to the most resistant area this section of the hair is going to be over process and then the section that is the most resistant is going to be under process why because it did not get sufficient time for the hair to process and that is how you're going to end up with over process here and under process here and none of this is good over process here will break and so will under process here and so to avoid hair breakage you want to ensure that you're putting the relaxer where it should go First. If you decide to do your own hair at home, meaning that you decide to relax your hair by yourself at home, or perhaps you might ask someone at home to assist you, keep in mind that the hairline and your nape area, those section of your scalp or your skin is quite sensitive. Why? We wash our face, we brush our hair, and so we are constantly manipulating the scalp area here and also the skin around here at the deep area so those sections you want to apply the relaxer last why because those sections tends to be a lot easier to process why because the hair on our hairline is exposed to the element and so in most cases is those sections of the hair perhaps will not be low porosity meaning that it is not difficult to process so those areas usually process a lot faster i know that some persons their airline and their nape area can be the most resistant area and if that is the case you will definitely need to take extra precaution when it comes to the skin area or the scalp area around those sections so just keep that in mind if you decide to do your ear at home if you decide to go to the salon and you find that whenever your stylist does your hair, it is under process or unevenly processed. Don't be afraid to recommend or tell them, you know, find that section of my hair that is most resistant, please. And apply the relaxer to that section. And in that way, you'll have even processing, less breakage, and you'll be happy. And so will your hair because the hair will be nice and healthy. If you would like to learn how to relax your hair and how to prepare your hair on your relaxer day, then I'll leave this video right here for you to watch next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.